Hello everyone, my name's Alex, you're watching Big Al Books, and today I'm going to be talking about 15 Dogs by Andre Alexis. Today is the first day of the Canada Reads 2017 debates, and this is the book that I'm hoping is going to win the whole competition. It's still standing after today, but you never know what's going to happen with Canada Reads, so I thought I'd make a quick video talking about why I think this book is awesome. So 15 Dogs is a book that is pretty well known in Canada. It's obviously one of this year's Canada Reads contenders. As well, it won the Giller Prize, which is an esteemed literary prize for Canadian fiction. So a lot of people in Canada have read this thing already, but I don't hear people outside of Canada really talking about this book. So if you are not a Canadian and haven't heard of this book, I would really consider checking it out because even though it's set in Toronto, you certainly don't have to be a Canadian to appreciate this thing. In fact, I think anyone with an interest in dogs or in exploring the human condition could find something that they would take away out of this book. Here's the premise of the book. So it starts off with two Greek gods, Apollo and Hermes, having a drink at a bar, and they start discussing human consciousness and whether it's a blessing or a curse. So the two decide to test their theory by granting human consciousness to 15 dogs. And they basically make a wager over whether any of these dogs will be able to die happy. So that's where the book starts off. The dogs leave the shelter that they're living in and it basically explores how this new shift in consciousness changes their lives. So the dogs are all of a sudden granted this new kind of intelligence where they have to start thinking about things like the passing of time, death, whether there's a god, language and how that affects how they think and feel towards each other. There's one dog who even begins creating poetry and a lot of the other dogs really don't like it and want to go back to just being how they were even if that's not truly possible. Andre Alexis does a great job of exploring the perspective of dogs, like what's going on in their minds when they're mounting each other or how the sense of smell is so important to constructing their understanding of the world, especially smells that uh, humans just don't pick up on. So um, it's as much about people though as it is about dogs. So dogs are trying to understand what is going on in humans' mind, like why are some humans nice and they'll give you food and some other ones will call you over and throw rocks at you. You know, humans are kind of these mysteries. But at the same time, um, dogs are huge mysteries to humans too. We don't really get what's going on with our dogs. The novel also explores relationships between people and dogs and whether they can actually be friends or if there is always this kind of master dominance relationship always at play. And there's one scene I really liked where uh, one of the dogs just starts talking to his owner one day and she gets like seriously freaked out and it made me think like it sounds like it would be like so fun to have your dog talking to you but it's actually like such like a creepy like horrifying thing because you know people don't really treat their dogs like other humans like you do things like go to the bathroom around your dog and talk nonsense around them kind of because you're comfortable around them not thinking that they're this conscious creature that will judge you um, but I really love the scene and seeing like oh shit yeah like there is a way that we think about dogs I also really liked the way that Andre Alexis introduced the Greek gods to the story because in a sense it lowers humans on the cosmic hierarchy so instead of being superior to dogs and more intelligent there are these Greek gods that are watching over humans and kind of thinking that they are simple and not very intelligent so in that way it puts dogs and humans on a more level playing field. This novel explores a lot of big philosophical questions. It is essentially examining human consciousness. It's asking whether it's harder to be happy when you're more intelligent. And it's also exploring how language shapes us as sentient creatures and how it changes us. So there's a lot of big ideas going on. But I also found this to be a very emotional read, uh, especially if you're a dog lover. I don't know about you, but like I'm one of those people, when I'm watching a movie and a dog dies, it is like easily the most upsetting thing that could possibly happen. So from the start of this book, you know that there are going to be 15 dogs and they are all going to die. So that can be a little hard watching that happen. Uh, there's a lot of violence and cruelty in this book, which can be upsetting, but there are also a lot of really beautiful passages as well. 
I've read this book two times now and both times the ending has made me cry. So it's definitely an emotional ride. But I don't want you to think it's emotional in that kind of like Hollywood, Marley and me, overly sentimental kind of way. Because at its root, this is still a very quirky, complex and challenging book. Uh, one of my favorite lines from it was when Madge Noon, one of the dogs, was trying to get a better understanding of his owner by taking in some of her favorite works of art. And this is what he thought about it. He said, these works were, it seemed, created to evade understanding while inviting it. He came to love this aspect of the human. And I think that's what this book does really well, is it takes in the complexities of humans and dogs, and it doesn't try to give us easy answers like, this is what it means to be a dog. This is what it means to be a person. Like, it, it brings up these complex issues and is more of a springboard to get the reader thinking about these topics rather than trying to come up with these pithy statements that encompasses everything. Overall, I think 15 Dogs is an excellent book and I think of all the books on the Canada Reads shortlist, this is the one that has the best writing style as well as was just the most engaging and enjoyable to read, even though it got sad as hell at times. But I'm hoping to see this book win. Let me know if you have any thoughts on 15 Dogs and also please let me know if you know any other awesome books about dogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.